Ready? Ready? This is this really what we're gonna have to do? I need more alcohol. Good evening and welcome to the Tiger's Den. My name is Fleabag and I'm Yep. Yeah. Today we're we'll going to be starting a new series kind of going on um, in response to a survey kind of thing that Poofle has put on uh, with regards to what people want to see. Obviously more with regards to actual airsoft sort of things. So we're going to be doing like a little series kind of going into our airsoft guns that we actually have and kind of show you what we've done and basically the arsenal. It kind of is an arsenal at this point. And we've actually massed over yeah. 10 years? 10 years, 10 years this year. Actually airsofting, not Joe. Not, well, not two plus. Yeah, he's us. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 to be fair, I think he's only been doing it a good couple of years. Yeah, it's, it's still a good couple of years. I mean, we're two and four. Two and four. Two and four. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, I understand you basically brought your baby in, your bolt uh, hose. It, it's not my baby, but it's a bolt hose. Talking about the AGM Sen, I, I almost forgot it then. <laughs> you dick. Yeah. A little bit of history about the real one. Basically, it's come about from Dunkirk, as in British Army leaves Dunkirk, leaves all their equipment, <laughs> including guns, which is very important in fighting wars. <laughs> well done. So, um, to start with, we were actually buying Thompsons from America, and then kind of America got involved in the war as well, which made Thompson's more expensive, so yeah, MJ Armoury with um, I did have a paperwork somewhere, but I don't know where it is. No. Yeah, well, right. we're gonna have yeah. to wing it this it's time. Hard, though. Design this with uh, two designers, which is actually where the Sten name came from. As you can see, it's lovely wood finish on it. Um, a little feature which was actually part of the design was even though it's a side mag, you're fighting the war. Use ammunition. Oh shit, I've got ammunition. Don't worry, the bad guy used to say mags with us. <laughs> As you can see, so you can carry on fighting using your enemy's ammunition. If, if I remember correctly, didn't they also used to use like lipstick, like yep, gunpowder? Um, the Israelis and... used metal lipstick cases with the actual bullet as melted down tin soldiers. <laughs> and we they built for a new war. They, they built them underneath the uh, the underneath a launch in it. Who was that actually? Um the silence one of these, which is Sen Mark II S. During the Vietnam War was actually used by America. Couldn't actually find anything more silent than a Sen. Um there's actually on record with the silence then as well, that a German officer used the captain silence then and emptied his entire mag into the air, denying three officers and he gave them a even though he was one fifth. Hmm. So all around it's a very versatile gun. Very easy to make a real one, but we're not talking about real ones today. Unfortunately. The airsoft one, they do go a high cap, which you can only get from Co Airsoft, which is thirty three pounds. And £33 for open packages in Hong Kong. So, really, you're using either mid caps or high caps. Well, you are anyway. Yeah. Not mid caps, not high caps. Um, low caps mid and mid caps. Low. Yep. But I say, get it right. Yep. Um, I would show you the difference between the two, but unless you're actually touching them, you don't know. The low caps are metal, mid caps are plastic. That's the only difference between the two. Plus, obviously, the amount of rounds in it. I mean, now, yeah. how many is actually in the low and low cap? Low caps are 50 rounds, uh, mid caps are 110. Okay. Now, I, I remember when you actually got the mid cap, um, obviously, the, the fact that this thing literally is a bullet hose, yeah. I mean, how many, uh, I know obviously it does have a high rate, a ridiculously high rate of fire, obviously, for what it, is, what it actually is. I mean, how long did it actually take to empty one of the low cap mags? 90 seconds. And the height and the mid cap <laughs> about 12. <laughs> so if you're thinking over 12 seconds, that approximately about, that was right to around about 10 rounds a second? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, so needless to say, it's made several people kind of crap their pants. Yeah, I you've actually had three people give up just by hearing it. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, one thing I will say, which I'll, since I've got the MP40 made by the same company 
It's not like great. I'll actually show you what this is like. Hey. Millstones actually has a semi-automatic option. They put the imprint for it there. Does it work? It's just part of the bodywork. So this is fully automatic work. gun only. Yeah, not well, really handy no. on single shot sights then. Yeah. Which go to the MP40 next to me. MP40s, real ones, were only fully automatic. Ah, this one has a selector switch. Where is there? <laughs> when you actually find it. So yeah. Oh god. But right. It works off a six cell battery. This is a seven cell. I had to check. <laughs> Simply goes in the slot there. It can, as you can tell, you can fit an eight cell, which is nine point six in there quite snugly. Potentially anyway. You remove it. I haven't tied it up. You would be an amateur for this. You can see properly. Kind of oh no no, it is actually coming undone. Yeah, yeah, it's wow. coming undone. And here I thought you'd actually tighten it and screw yourself over. No. So simply move that, drop that down, as you can see, I can get a bit of a tail so Yeah, if I remember yeah. correctly, didn't you also use to electrocute yourself on this thing? Uh, yeah, it was actually a design fault where they forgot about soldering a loop wire properly to the Kenzo circuit, so I let's screw myself. Good time you pulled the trigger. So I might actually unplug it in, actually sorry, yeah, plug it in. As well. This way it turns out it's a dead battery. Plug it in. Don't worry, we'll just take it to the second cut then, this yep. is. I need a sign here two hours later. He's still trying to get it in. Push uh, it in there. Simply. Push it in. Reattach. Yep. Now this is an 8.4 cell uh, volt battery. So you won't get the rate of fire which you get with the 9. But still. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of fun if you want to go in and literally, you know, basically get the drop on like a group of them, <laughs> and then you want to dive into a bush. So I actually remember, you know, I actually remember uh, an incident of you bush diving. Yeah, I remember you picked a grenade up afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was annoying. <laughs> Fucking dip. Right. Anyway, um, now, obviously, one thing I have noticed with this is it's not really something that you can do attachments to. Um, sling, and that's. Pretty much it from the uh, next week. Yeah, I've actually put this it in the wrong way. The sling should be. Hang on. And he's broken it already. Oh, oh, oh maybe not. Sling should be like that. Okay. Um, with this as well, you actually have three firing positions. Like that. Or, as you probably see in most pictures about this, by the magnet like that. But the problem is with that, you can't really put down the sight. Down yeah, it's actually like a case of. To be fair, how often you, do you aim with that thing? I might have a target like over 10 meters away. I might need to aim. How often have you done that? Never. Exactly. <laughs> You've never had or to aim. A position which I did when I first picked one of these up, because I act, when I first picked one of these up, I was actually too noisy. Like that, with the hand just in front of the trigger. So, so very much you can. Relate to modern guns with this gun. Kind of, kind yeah. Of. I mean, also relate to modern bedsteads, but. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, some of them were made out of beds. Yep. But uh, as I say, you, you, you're kind of limited, obviously, on what you can do. So, um, if I remember correctly, this is the closest thing you have to a safety. Uh, no, that's not the safety. That is, if you put it in a bag, that's the carry position. Oh, seriously? Oh, okay. Yes. I actually thought that was literally safety. No, that is not the safety. Okay. My bad. I stand corrected, like the douchebag I am. Because um, <laughs> you fold it that round, you still pull the trigger. You can't do it with the magnet. Yes, sir. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the thing is, in like safe zones and dead zones, that's mm. the only way you're going to kind of get away with that. Yeah. Uh, well, it's in this position as well. Don't it remember? That's how you adjust the, hot, the smallest arm key in the world you can find. Yes, it has a hole. <laughs> yeah, apparently. The problem but is, there isn't a hole there, so you can't 
you want to just do hops, you have to do five shots around, take the mag out, rotate it around, and then just do it that it. way, which is again, kind of yeah. stupid. But I set it. When did it go? What did it go on a set? Five? Yeah. Five? I don't know. Oh, yeah. To be fair, you kind of. Aeons ago. <laughs> Apart from having you know, the P90, you've kind of had this since the year dot, basically. Yeah. It's done you pretty well. I mean, okay, it's obviously not, as you can see, the best condition. Um, to be fair, your MP40 is going the same way very quickly. Um, it's going to get to a default state and then just not change. Yeah. Cool. Uh, my Webley's gone that way as well. <laughs> I noticed. <Yes. laughs> like, where's half a pink? Oh, the pink is gone. It's called... Um, Battlefield condition. Mm. Mm. Now, is there anything obviously you want to say about this um, before we kind of sign that off? The only thing I have wrong with it is a single shot. If it had a single shot, this would be a 10 out of 10 gun for me. Yeah, because then it'd be stupid to use it in the fort. Yeah, and I would sell everything else. No, I wouldn't sell everything else. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. Even Rachel? <laughs> but that's a Sten it's Sten Mark II, so. It's actually the first one they built which actually went into combat. Mark one was a prototype. Hmm. Okay, good little fact at the end there. Um, well, that's been me, Fleabag, and time for the Badger's Den. Um, going to probably do a couple, see what people think, and then kind of go from there. Actually, what the hell, I don't really give a shit anymore. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> I just kind of thought we'd get all the videos out, see what people think about it, because we can always do other sort of things. I mean, as say, we could always do like dismantling and cleaning of like all the handguns because between us we've probably got about 10 different handguns. I've got three, but one of them I won't use, well, won't show because it's been tortured. Mm. Anyway, as I say, I've been Fleabag and this has been Santa, and thank you if you have been watching.